So what we're going to talk about is a bunch of major concepts in regards to going for sweeps. And the major concepts that I'm going to talk about are controlling a limb or controlling multiple limbs, making your opponent overcommit, or your opponent overcommitting themselves and you basically taking advantage of it. If you focus on those three major things, then you are going to be able to create many sweep opportunities. So usually most sweeps, you're going to control a limb and you're going to either make them overcommit or they're going to overcommit themselves. And so I'm going to give you some examples. So let's talk, let's get into butterfly guard here, right? One very simple sweep that I like to do, um, it, it is so simple to the point where everybody should be doing this and it's extremely low risk, is when the person steps their foot up, right? So Russ steps his foot up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left hand, grab his ankle, so that is uh, concept number one, controlling a limb. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push him backwards. Here, and that's concept number two, making him overcommit. What I mean by making him overcommit is essentially off balancing the person in some way, shape, or form. So I wanna make him either overcommit backwards, overcommit over me, overcommit to the left, overcommit to the right, and so on and so forth, okay? Those four major things are gonna be able to create many, many sweeping opportunities for you. There are others, but those four are gonna open up a lot of opportunities. So if we're just here, right, we turn this way, this simple thing. I'm not focusing on the actual technique, I'm focusing on the concept. He steps up, boom. Look, I'm trapping here, and now I push him. So I trapped a limb, and then I made him, I made him overcommit this direction to where it's hard for him to basically um, finish his, or uh, basically for him to keep his base, all right? Then another aspect we're gonna call, talk about in another video as well is finishing your sweep, right? The concept of actually, um, completing the sweep. So after that, I need to be able to get up so that way I can actually get my sweep points or get my um, control and so on and so forth, right? So another concept, another uh, example here is if I have basically butterfly guard and I'm going for a basic butterfly sweep here, I have a limb, so I'm controlling a limb. I have a, a, his right arm and I technically also have his right leg too. So if we turn this way here, I'm controlling two limbs this time. I'm controlling his right arm here, and I'm controlling his left leg with my right foot. So I'm controlling two limbs, and then I'm going to make him overcommit. So I'm here like this, I tilt, and I make him overcommit to his right. Now I get my sweep, and then I get my points, or I get my control, whatever my particular goal is, all right? Um, another one is, let's say I have close guard here and I, I'm able to get his arm across, right? Or I just control like a two-on-one grip. I bring my hips up, I slide his arm across, and then I hug around. I am now controlling a limb. I'm controlling a limb here. I hook underneath this leg. I'm controlling two limbs now. I'm controlling his right arm. I'm controlling his left uh, leg here. Then from here, I'm gonna make him overcommit to his right. Then I get my sweep. So it's the same concepts over and over again. Trap a limb, make them overcommit. Another one is I'm here, right? He goes to stand up. I hook under, I'm doing like the waiter sweep. I trap a limb, I'm trapping his right leg. Now I need to make him overcommit. Usually when you're doing the overcommitting, you wanna take them to a direction of a limb that's being trapped, okay? If you're controlling an arm, most of the time you're going to overcommit them to the direction of the arm that you're trapping. In this scenario, I'm only controlling the leg. So I want him to overcommit in the direction of the leg that I'm trapping here. So for me to overcommit him, I need to make him kind of like dip down this way. So for me to do that, I'll twist my hips. Then I can come up and I can finish my sweep. Now you may not have saw him overcommitting, but what happened it was is his hip basically started kind of like pressuring to the right. So I overcommitted his hip to the right as I was trapping his right leg, and then I was able to get my sweeps. It's, it's, it, this concept pretty much applies over and over and over and over again when it comes to sweep. Another example, let's take arm drags as an example, which is a little bit even more dynamic. We're here like this. I'm in butterfly guard. I'm either grabbing his wrist or I swim through or whatever. So I come through here, even though this is a quick movement, I'm still trapping a limb here. When he goes to pull his elbow back, it's trapped. I'm still doing concept number one. 
trap a limb here. Now I need to get around him, okay? Now the difference here is I'm gonna make him overcommit this direction as I move my body, all right? So not all, if I just made him overcommit, I can still possibly get the sweep, but to make him more efficient, I'm gonna make him overcommit as I go past him, okay? So I make him overcommit to my right as I go past him, and then I can start coming up to attack his back, or if I don't attack his back, uh, get his back, he might pull guard, because he doesn't want to get his back taken, and then I get a sweep on him. It's the same thing over and over and over again. So many different aspects. Um, let's say, for example, I have a deep half guard, right? So I'm here, boom, I have deep half guard. I have a limb. I have a whole entire leg here, right? So concept number one, control a limb. Concept number two, make him overcommit, okay? So here, I want to think about what direction is the best direction for me to make him overcommit. If I try to make him overcommit to his front, right, he has his hands here. But if I make him overcommit to his back, he doesn't have his hands, he also doesn't have his legs. Now I can make him sit and then I can get my sweep. Same thing, just a different guard. Trap a limb and make them overcommit. There's gonna be times where your opponent overcommits themselves, right? A classic example is if um, I do the hip bump sweep, right? So I like to do the hip bump after having uh, head control. So I have head control here. And when I have this head control, he starts posturing up. So as he starts posturing up here, lots of times they're overcommitting themselves. Or you're gonna have times where the person is just leaning back way too much and then they overcommit themselves as well. So here, he started overcommitting upwards. So he's overcommitting, boom, as I'm coming up, I'm trapping a limb. So I'm, I, I want to make him overcommit by going the direction that he's going. I trap a limb at the same time, and then I have to turn him towards the direction that I'm trapping the limb so I can get the sweep. And like I said, more often than not, when you're trapping an arm, most of the time you're gonna sweep them in the direction of the arm that you're trapping. And the reason for that is because they no longer have a post. So they can't post their hand out to stop you. If you do not have the option to trap an arm, which is most of the time when you're standing, right? And you're trapping a leg, then you don't need to control the arms anymore. Let's take another like super simple sweep to the point where a lot of people call it the idiot sweep, right? Where Russ is inside my clothes guard here. He goes to stand up and his feet are square, right? Or actually, no, this is the well, this is gonna be the double ankle sweep, not the idiot sweep. So I'll show you the idiot sweep in a second. So we can go back down. So here, this is gonna be the one where um, I grab both of his ankles. So he goes to stand up, I trap two limbs. He's standing, so it's not quite necessary for me to grab both of his arms. I take both of my feet here, I push, and I make him overcommit. By having both of his legs, I want to take him in the direction of the limbs that I'm trapping. In that particular scenario, I was controlling both of his legs. So since I was controlling both of his legs, it was okay for me to take him straight back. If I was only controlling his right leg, it's gonna be more conducive for me to take him to his right. Basically the waiter sweep. If I was controlling his left leg, it's gonna be, it's gonna make more sense for me to take him to his left. So we control a limb, we make them overcommit, all right? Or if they overcommit themselves, then we can um, take advantage of that as well. Most of the time, it's gonna be your responsibility to make them overcommit, especially as they have more and more experience. Let's go back to the idiot sweep, right? So the idiot sweep, he's actually standing in front of me, and he's already square. So with this one, right, this is a classic Marcelo Garcia, like super simple type of sweep. I'm gonna take both my feet and flare them out. Trap a limb or more. I'm trapping two limbs now, then I make him overcommit. Now he's down. Right? We still didn't talk about the fact that I need to get up. I need to do those things, right? So I still need to finish my sweep. If we're here like this, and I do this again, boom, but I don't get up, and he gets right back up, it's like the sweep never even existed. So we trap a limb or more limbs, we make them overcommit or they overcommit themselves, and then we complete the sweep. Those, those major things right there, they, those major things make up almost all sweeps. It doesn't matter the position. It doesn't matter if you're wearing gi or no gi. It makes up almost all types of sweeps. You know, 
possible um, even uh, possible exceptions are if you're wearing the gi, right? So if Russ just runs over there and grabs his gi top really quick. So we're, we're not even going to stop the video. So he's grabbing his gi top really quick. He's going to put that on. One particular exception is if we are playing um, collar drags, right? So with a collar drag, I'm actually not really controlling the limb. What I'm doing is I'm grabbing his collar here and I want to make him overcommit more than anything else, right? So let's say, for example, I'm trying to pull him and it's not working. I might do things to, to bait him, right? So I'll push him, which makes him come back up, and then I'll collar drag him by me. So I relied on the fact that his pressure was going towards me, which gave me the opportunity to make him overcommit even more, right? So at that point, it was me making him overcommit one direction as I went past him the opposite direction, right? So collar drags are probably the major exception with this particular um, type of concept is when you don't really need to control a limb. Other than that, most of the time, you're gonna be controlling a limb. I mean, even if like we're here like this and Russ is inside my spider guard here, right? So I'm here like this, right? He's inside my spider guard. I'm making, I'm controlling a limb here. And then from there, I come through, I make him overcommit. See how he's kind of over me? Then I can turn, don't come back up. My sweep is that good. Yeah. So we're here like this, right? I'm coming here. So I have a good position that I can make him overcommit. So I can get my sweep. And notice once again, because I was controlling his arm, I took him towards the direction of the arm that I was controlling, right? If I was controlling the le only legs, chances are I'm gonna take him to the direction of the leg that I'm controlling. You know, it all applies here. Um, uh, other things, right? So let's say, let's say we give you another example. This is gonna be a long video about sweep concepts, right? Let's say he's standing up and I'm here like this and I have uh, like a sitting guard type uh, situation. Now here with this scenario, I have the option of making him overcommit uh, different ways or we can turn it into a wrestling game, right? So that's where we use the, the trapping the limbs to basically turn it into almost a stand-up battle, which can lead to a sweep, all right? So that's another exception. We talked about the exception of the collar drag, right? Where you're really just focusing on making them overcommit like so much. The other exception is also turning it into a wrestling match, right? So if I feel like I have better wrestling, instead of me just trying to, um, you know, come here, trap his leg, boom, make him, uh, uh, you know, overcommit or whatever. So he has his hand, I'm going to grab his hand and make him overcommit. What I might do is I might try to turn into a wrestling match instead. So while we're here like this, I might come here like this and then stand up. So now the difference is, um, over, the overcommitting part doesn't really matter as much because this is now a stand-up battle. If I went to go run the pipe or whatever and I took him down, it's still a sweep, but it's technically not in line with the concepts that we're talking about because I stood up. So in that scenario, what I did was is I controlled a limb, I brought it to a stand-up battle where I had the advantage, and then I took him down. So basically this video is just a, it's a whole bunch of different concepts of what you can do to set up different uh, sweep opportunities for you, regardless of the scenario. The major ones are control them, make them overcommit, or they overcommit themselves. The exceptions are getting a situation where you have like a collar drag or, or like good head control, and you can drag them by, right? So you, you really make them overcommit. They go one way, you go the opposite direction. And then the other exception is where you could turn it into a wrestling situation where you control a limb, more often than not, it's going to be a leg, um, and then you could bring it to a stand-up battle quickly and bring it right back down to the mat to where you're on top, and that's also going to be a sweep, all right? So those major concepts are going to help you a lot when it comes to going for sweeps. This is a lot to digest, you know, watch the video multiple times, but I really believe if you focus on these things, they're going to help you out a lot. So um, play around with these ideas. If you have any questions or comments, post below, and I'll do the best I can to help you out. All right? Peace. Kind of went all multiple directions. <laughs> Covered it.